Today we are using the calculator to compute our Z test statistic in order to do a confidence interval on the proportion of the population. So in order to do this, we have to start with the stat key. And we choose tests. And we choose number seven, the Z interval. And we have to make sure that this is on stats right here, not data. Okay, if you use the matrix that are handed out in class, you'll see that the standard deviation must be set at one, X bar must be set at zero, and N must be set at one. You need to emphasize that these are the values you need in here, one, zero, one, regardless of what the scenario is telling you. And again, this is used only for do getting the Z value for doing a confidence interval on the proportion, the mean proportion, uh, correction, the proportion on a population. My confidence level is 0.95 or whatever dictated by the scenario. So let's assume that it's a 0.95 confidence level or 95% confidence level. So we enter and we enter. And so there you have your Z values, positive 1.96 and negative 1.96. Let's assume we've been asked to do a 99% confidence, confidence interval. So we go to stat, tests, number seven for Z interval. We have to choose stats here again. Okay, 101, exactly what the instructions on the matrix tell you. And we set this at 0.99 for 99% confidence interval, and enter, enter. And there you have it. Here are your Z values for your confidence interval, negative 2.576 and positive 2.5758. These appear to be different numbers. They really aren't. It's just this one's rounded to three decimals, and this one is rounded to four decimals. And of course, one of them is negative. And that's all there is to finding the Z value for a specific confidence level for a confidence interval.